Η δήμαρχοι των κατεχομένων πόλεων της Κύπρου συνεχίζουν τον αγώνα για επιστροφή. Έχουμε μαζί μας σήμερα τον Δήμαρχο Λαπίθου Νεοπτσόλεμο Κότσαπα και τον Δήμαρχο Κερίνιας Γλάφκο Καριόλου που θα μεταφέρουν το μήνυμα των προσφύγων, το μήνυμα για αγώνα, για τερματισμό της τουρκικής κατοχής και επιστροφή. Ο Δήμαρχος Κερίνιας θα απευθύνει χαιρετισμό εκ μέρους των κατεχομένων Δήμων. Ο κύριος Γλάφκος Καριόλου. Excellencies, uh, distinguished friends of Cyprus, αγαπητοί συμπατριώτες, συμπατριώτησες, επιτρέψετε μου πριν σας φέρω το μήνυμα των εννέα δήμων, please allow me to extend an open invitation to our friends to join us on a sail to a free Kyrenia with a Kyrenia ship as soon as we see the first Kyrenians returning back home. That is an open invitation. <laughs> we, the elected mayors of the towns of Kyrenia and Labithos, representing the committee of the nine Cyprus displaced municipalities of Famagusta, Morfu, Kyrenia, Labithos, Karabas, Kithrea, Lefkonikon, Aganthu, and Lysis, on the European Union island of the Republic of Cyprus, considering that Great Britain is a guarantor power of the constitutional order in our country, which is being continuously violated by Turkey since 1974, with over half a million Cypriots living in the United Kingdom, and where Cyprus is hosting 2.7% of her surface, very important echelon facilities in the British sovereign bases which include over 4.2% of our coastline, with over 70% of our university graduates having studied in England, and where we all speak English, respect England, still drive on the left-hand side of the road, and where in practical terms we are probably one of the most pro-British countries in the world. We declare that enough is enough, 41 years have passed since the Turkish invasion and yet the Turkish army and settlers are still in Cyprus. As Great Britain has guaranteed our human rights and constitutional order, we request Great Britain's assistance as regards one, our safe return to our properties in the occupied areas as this is the strongest, legitimate, and by far most effective of all confidence-building measures. Uh. Number two, the unobstructed, unbiased, timely, accurate, and scientifically complete investigation, discovery of the faith of each and every one of our beloved missing persons. Three, the same and unobstructed maintenance and recovery work of our over 500 churches and general cultural heritage areas in occupied Cyprus. We expect Great Britain to help us for a viable, safe and long-lasting solution of the Turkish occupation problem which was erroneously lame as the Cyprus problem. Cyprus is too small to create problems. One, respect our basic and fundamental human rights, the resolution of the United Nations, international law, and the European acquis communautaire. Number two, remove from Cyprus the Turkish occupation forces and settlers placed in our homes by the Turkish government in order to create a demographic problem and further complexities. Number three, safeguard the right to return to our homes and properties under conditions of freedom, dignity, and safety, always having in mind 
that mainland Turkey's gigantic military arsenal is only 37.5 nautical miles away from our district, towns and villages of Kyrenia in Cyprus. <laughs> Finally, but most urgently, we seek assistance in re-establishing unobstructed and unthreatened by mainland Turkey close and continuous strong contact and cooperation with our Turkish Cypriot compatriots in a joint effort for an agreement for a repatriation of the Turkish army and settlers and the safe return to our ancestral, ancestral homeland. God bless Cyprus. God bless Great Britain.